Hello guys and gals, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video, we are going to be going over how you can obtain the $12 million worth of assets from Paragon uh, from Epic Games. I think believe it's due to shut down on April 26th. Um, so what they've done is they've actually released all of the assets for free. Uh, right now you can't get all of them. They're releasing them in packages. So you can get a few of them now, you can get a few of them later. Um, and you can get more details at um, unrealengine.com forward slash paragon. So what I've got here is I've just got this empty, uh, an empty project, there's nothing in it at all. Just made this really quick, it's just paragon stuff. If we head back to our launcher here, I've got a brand new, um, brand new account. My old account was linked to an, uh, a university email address uh, and because of all of the the leaks i suggest that you guys change your passwords um i changed my password uh and it didn't stick for some reason uh, and then when i tried to log back in it didn't accept any password that i put in tried to recover it, and of course my uni email address has since been disabled so i can't recover the account luckily i haven't got anything on there of any value so yay i digress to get the paragon stuff is actually really really simple what we're going to do is we're going to head to the marketplace tab And once we're inside this tab, up inside search content, we're going to search for Paragon. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring up all of the different Paragon things. You can see here, they're all available and they're all available for free. Now there are 20 characters, I believe, and currently 1500 uh, visual effects and props available. I'm going to be using the Paragon Agora Monolith um, map pack for now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to press the add to cart button. And then it's going to slurp up into our cart up here in the top right corner. You see shop it cart. You see we've got price zero pounds because it's absolutely free. And what we can do is we can just press check out. You don't need to have any sort of payment details already on your account for this. You simply press check out unless you've got something else that you've put in there, um, with, which, you know, is worth something. You can see down here now it says owned. If it's free, you don't need to set up anything. You don't need to put in any credit card details or anything like that. You just press go, and if we go back to library, you can see now in my vault, we have the Paragon, Agora, and Monolith package. What I'm going to do now is add this to a project. The project has to be 4.19 or above, if you're watching this after this point, uh, 4.19. We're going to choose the project, add it to project, and then what it's going to do is it's going to start downloading those assets. Now, as you can see here, this is 15.7 gigabytes worth of assets that's a pretty huge amount of stuff to get so i'm going to stop recording here and then i'm going to get back into this when that's finished downloading um i suggest that you pause the video here and get back to me once you've got that sorted yourself see you in a little bit okay welcome back hopefully you've got that downloaded now um the next thing that we need to do is something that I've already done, so I'm not going to actually do this here. The reason I've already done this is just because um, the assets are going to take forever to load. Um, especially the maps. They're so big and there's so much in them. Um, and I think there's 10,000 or more uh, shaders that will recompile when you bring these in. That it just takes quite a long time, so I'm not going to do that in recording. All you will do is you'll click add to project and it has to be a 4.19 or above. I know right now 4.19 is the only thing that's available, but in the future you're going to be able to use it. Uh, click on your project then click add to project. I'm not going to do that here because I don't need to. We'll head back into the project itself and inside of our content folder you'll now have the Paragon Props folder. If we open this up we can see we've got Agora, Effects, Ground, Monolith and Turrets. Now Agora and Monolith are the different map packs I believe. If we open up Agora, we have the Agora Assets map. Now, if I double click this, this should open fairly quickly. Here we go. Now, you're not going to load anywhere near as quick as that in the first time. This is only loaded that quick because I've got this preloaded um, and all the shaders are already compiled. As I say, there's a lot of them to do. But in here, you can see they've just laid out all the different assets for you to have a look at. So you can see the way that these are reacting to lighting and shadows, how big they are in their scale, and generally how they would look if they were inside your game. Now to see this further, what you can do is you can obviously go into the props folder and you can go to meshes and you can see them all 
laid out. Now each and every one's got its own material already assigned to it and you can go into the materials folder as well and you can check out how they've all been put together. Now there's a lot of resources here so I'm not going to go through them all and show you guys how they're all done and how they all work. Um, this is going to be a massive learning resource for yourselves. Um, just showing you guys how to get a hold of this because some people seem to be confused on how to download this. Uh, what you can do then is if we go back to the content folder, sample map isn't default project. Um, sample map is part of the Paragon props download. If you open this up, you've got Paragon sample and Paragon sample daylight. If we open up the sample map, which is one that I also have preloaded, you'll be able to see um, just a test scene that they've put together with some of these props so that you can see the way they work. Now this water is looking funky. The reason this is looking funky is because there is a planar reflection hiding underneath the plane just so that you get nice reflections from on the water during game time. Now if I press play I'm just going to get a black screen because I don't have a game mode set up but you can see the way that these are all uh, placed together inside the engine itself. Now this is an absolutely huge amount of stuff that they've given away. As I say, they've stated that this isn't the whole package, that they're going to be doing some more. Um, and if you wanted to get more pieces of this, obviously you just head back into the marketplace, search for Paragon. And then anything that you wanted to have a look at or try out, just add it to the cart and then head to the checkout button once it's in there. And upon pressing checkout, you'll just have to wait a couple of seconds for it to process. As I say before, you don't need any sort of payment method in there. And then it will show up in your library. So I've got the minions here that we didn't uh, we didn't grab earlier, but I've grabbed during times without recording. Hopefully some of you guys are going to find that useful. Have a dig around inside this project. It's, uh, it's huge. There, there is a lot to go through. It's a little bit daunting. Um, but it's all laid out in a really nice manner, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.